All right, so what's up everyone? It's Jason Janai from the SE Event Group, and thank you for joining me here on another video on this YouTube channel. It's great to have you back with us. And if you're new here, would love to ask you to drop down below, hit the subscribe button, support my journey here, and I, in return, will hook you up with content weekly to hopefully help you build better events and do cool stuff in the future. Now today, I'm talking all about one of my favorite things to do at my personal performance events, one of my favorite things, my favorite ways to take my events to a whole nother level without investing in new technology, and that is incorporating live elements, live musicians to complement the DJ performance at my parties, my performance events. And man, there are so many different ways that you can do this. Whether you're doing a cocktail hour, a pre-reception, a welcoming, whether you're doing a ceremony or you have people performing alongside of you during a reception, a party, or are being featured at a reception, a party, or an event, man, this world is like just wide open of opportunities for you to take an event to a whole nother level. So I wanna share with you some piece of advice for people that have either done this and haven't been successful or are thinking about incorporating musicians to their overall portfolio in the future and that's what's gonna be in this video. Now, truth be told that SCE, I own a ton of technology. We have a lot of cool toys that we can bring and whether it's sparklers or snow or low flow or crazy lighting enhancements or doing video mapping or projection mapping or motion monograms, there is just so, so, so many ways that you can flip an event to another level. My personal favorite, and I've been asked about this a lot lately, is incorporating live musicians. I think it wins for a lot of different reasons. And one thing for people that are kind of just getting started into doing events or that maybe have been doing it for a little while that I feel that almost goes unsaid but needs to be said is the fact that you can incorporate these live elements, these live talented professional musicians to your portfolio and you can do so to take your events to a whole nother level and you can do so without investing thousands and thousands of dollars into equipment that might not go out frequently, right? That's the whole thing. Sometimes we invest in equipment and we might have it and then it sits in our warehouse or in our storage or in our garage or whatever. Musicians, you don't have to spend money to onboard them to your company. You just have to have a couple of good conversations. You have to be able to do a couple of things. And I wanna get into kind of three, I guess, pieces of advice that I would offer to any DJ anywhere who's thinking about incorporating live elements to their DJ presentation to take their events to a whole nother level right now. So before we get into this whole kind of like thing, I have to say that just because you found someone that has the ability of playing an instrument that you can offer to your couples doesn't mean you should just dive right in and start putting them on every party or event you have in the future. I think it's super important to number one, make sure that they have an understanding of the expectation of what you've sold to a couple, a client, an organization in terms of their expectations for the event, how they're gonna be used at the event, and number two, you need to make sure that they fit your brand. Not just from a talent perspective, but from a, a presentation perspective. Wanna make sure that they have the right kind of know-with-all to interact with guests at a certain level you need to make sure that they aesthetically fit the look of your presentation and they are gonna complement your service, not hinder it in any way. I think that's super important. Now, everyone has probably been to an event where they featured a musician, whether it be a percussionist, a saxophone player, a violinist, someone on a trumpet, a guitar, or whatever. I think it's super important to be 
incredibly selective with the people that you select to be involved with your company and the experiences you're creating at your events. I know that I am ridiculously particular and if someone doesn't have the ability of performing at a certain level, it's almost impossible for me to work with them at an event. And here's why. If, if let's just say you're working with a drummer and they have a difficult time keeping things on beat, I find it incredibly challenging for me to think forward at times at an event if in the background I hear someone that's maybe off count or that is a little bit sloppy or that maybe is just a little bit off. Same with saxophone, same with violin. If things don't kind of go together well, it can hurt not just how you are performing at your events, but it can hurt your perception in the eyes of the guests or the people that even hired you for their event. And I think that is super, super, super important. So first and foremost, my, my rules of the road would be find someone that has the talent ability and the brand perception understanding of the experience and the expectations of the experience that you are creating. When you find those people, hold on to them, make sure they are taken care of and make sure they are compensated well so that they want to work with you in the future. Um, I think it's an important part of this overall process. My second tip for anyone looking to incorporate live musicians into the overall experience is it's important that they understand the overall integrity of the service that you are hired to do and bring to the table for the couple. And that's not just from a performance perspective, it's also from a brand and from a presence perspective. Think about it. If you have someone playing next to your DJ booth, playing the drums or playing an instrument, it's important that they are smiling during the event. That if a guest walks by and takes their picture, they smile for that photo, that they get involved. And they are charismatic enough to complement the overall show. Just like DJs at times are known to stand behind a DJ booth mean mugging or grilling, that's not a good look. If people see you having a great time, smiling, interacting, bouncing around a little bit, I feel that those vibes go a lot further than if someone is just standing. If someone's just going through the motions, hitting the drums, not looking excited, the energy that they are gonna let off into the, the world in front of you is gonna be equal to that and we don't want to do that. So I feel that, okay, we talked about one, the talent selection is super important. Number two, holding the integrity of the event. And number three, everyone that does this, I feel that everyone does it differently. But one of the things that I found to be incredibly beneficial when incorporating live musicians at a DJ performance event is to try to complement the integrity of the audio being played as much as possible and don't be afraid to push individual musicians further or push them up further to be a focal point or to pull them back if maybe it's not the right fit at that point in time don't be afraid to have a musician go you know take 10 minute break and go take a walk don't be afraid to push that person forward to get them involved. I feel that one of the keys to incorporating musicians into an overall experience is to give them the ability to be featured as a talent option, a tool in your entertainment tool chest that day. It's an ability to give them the opportunity to do something that they do incredibly well that can take the event to a whole other level by creating a little bit more of an experience and here's, some, here's a couple examples. If you're working with um, an incredible saxophone player, have them get involved and walk around the room and play with people in front of them. Same thing for percussion. Now, a great thing that we like to do with percussion 
is we like to, at certain points in the night, when we're at this like high energy kind of like moment, we like to push our percussionists out in the crowd, give them the, 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 the freedom to go and play the drums with the guests and to even have the couple in a wedding scenario come behind the unit and play the drums so that you're creating a very high energy, high impact, Instagrammable moment for these people. I make, make sure that we have our cinematographer and our photographers um, set up to kind of capture that moment and we really make it something special. Now, this also goes for all other instruments, but there's different styles and different things that people can do. So we've done some really, really wild things where we've taken um, our, our instrumentalists, our musicians, and we've incorporated them at different moments of the day in different ways. I want to share with you one of my new favorite ways to incorporate an electric violin player. And I've done it a number of times in a number of different scenarios, but I'm thinking back to my last wedding that I just performed at pretty recently and how we incorporated Emily, our rock star violinist, into the overall celebration. And the way we actually did it was we did it at the conclusion of dinner where unannounced, she kind of walked out onto the dance floor. We then used um, um, a low lying fog machine or cloud machine to create that that uh, canvas of, of cloud cover over the dance floor. We dimmed the lights and we put a backlit spotlight on her and created a theatrical-like entertainment um, presentation for the couple before we got everyone back on the dance floor and had fun for the rest of the night. Now, I want to lace a couple of clips of this taking place into this video so I can just show you how it was received by people. It was something that we didn't announce. It just kind of happened, but it was planned well in advance and it was executed to perfection. In this instance, in this example, Emily played over top of one of the couple's favorite songs by Lana Del Rey, Young and Beautiful. We made it theatrical, we made it impactful, and we really took the overall dinner experience to a whole nother level, which set us up for an incredible second half of the wedding reception experience. Everyone does something different. And the point of me showing you this is just to think outside of the box and to use musicians as a tool to complement your overall business portfolio and service offering portfolio so that couples can experience something very unique very special and very different at their upcoming event or celebration. So my name is Jason Janai. I hope you found some value in these quick tips on how to uh, incorporate live elements into your overall presentation um, the Janai way and some, and, some, and some things to consider. I'd love to hear from you. So if you are currently using musicians or you've struggled using musicians in the past, maybe you're just really not sure where to start, I'd love to hear from you. So do me a favor, drop in the comments below and let me know what you're doing, what's worked, what hasn't worked, anything at all that you need to ask me about how to go about incorporating musicians to the overall show is fair game in the comments below. Again, I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you're new to the channel, thank you for joining us here. And I look forward to engaging with you guys in the comments below. Be on the lookout 
for new videos dropping every single week on this new YouTube channel platform that I am so excited about. Thank you so much for watching.